Here's how to add an amortization schedule to a lease under IASB or IFRS 16 requirements using CoStar's lease accounting software. Start by navigating to the accounting page in the financial section at left for a particular lease. In the upper right corner is the Add Schedule button used to begin a new amortization schedule on the accounting data entry page. The first option is the lease classification. In this example, the IFRS 16 option is selected. This is important for users that have leases that exist outside of the United States that are subject to the IASB requirements. Second, select the amortization profile to be used for the lease calculation. The profile may include all related rent expenses or charges, or additional profiles may be created with specific types or groupings of charges, such as base rent expenses and tenant improvement allowances. Third, choose a journal entry profile, which is pre-populated with a list of journal entry accounts when integrated with a general ledger system. The period from and period to dates are automatically populated from the possession date and current expiration date fields of the lease abstract. After this date range is confirmed, the system totals the rent charges over the period, calculates the number of periods in the date range, and calculates the level expense on a straight-line basis. Next, select a discount rate type option to perform classification testing. The first option allows for direct entry of data, and the second populates a profile of discount rate information for a specific organization. After the discount rate is selected, the system generates the present value of future payments taking into account the total amount of payments and the discount rate used. The next two data points for entry are the fair market value of the asset and the expected economic life of the asset. Though classification testing is not necessary for the IFRS 16, these data points may be entered for reporting purposes, along with residual value. What is critical under IFRS 16 is determining what the true lease term should be from an accounting standpoint. In the event that the leaseholder is reasonably certain to extend the lease term, these period fields should be extended so that option rent payments and charges are included with the lease schedule. Once all the data is confirmed, select Save and Close to finalize the schedule and return to the previous accounting page screen. Under Details, the new operating lease schedule is displayed with the term, number of periods, opening asset balance, and opening liability balance that was calculated. Scroll down to see specific data for any period throughout the lease, such as asset amortization, liability reduction, and interest expense, which progressively draws to zero at the end of the lease term. When using the CoStar system to process journal entries and export files to the general ledger, the status column allows users to approve and export charges, as well as track the export process. For further analysis, select the Run Report button at the top of the page, choose the appropriate classification, and click the View Report button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. The amortization schedule report may also be saved and exported to a variety of file formats. To see more functionality of CoStar's lease accounting software or to schedule a full demonstration, visit costarmanager.com or call 888-823-3209.